Hey guys, so you're probably like, um, what channel did I just click on? Like, who is this? <laughs> it's me, Kelly. I know you probably can't tell because I got this wig going on and all this crazy stuff on my face, but this is my first Halloween makeup tutorial that I came up with for you guys. Um, I wanted to do something super basic and super simple for my first tutorial because I feel like sometimes I watch some girls on YouTube who do these like crazy, crazy awesome Halloween tutorials. Like, they are so talented, but like, Ultimately, I feel like someone just can like sit in the room like chillin' on Halloween and like do that to their face. So I want to do something that was like super doable, something that you guys could totally replicate at home with stuff that you probably already have. You would not have to go out and get like additional stuff for like Halloween or whatever. Like you probably already have this makeup as long as you have like a black eyeliner and a pink lipstick you can do this look. Um, super simple, super easy. So I wanted that to be my first tutorial for you guys. If you want me to do more Halloween tutorials, that's totally fine. Just give this video a thumbs up so I know and comment down below and let me know um, like some ideas of what you guys would like to see. And also subscribe to my channel if you have not already. But yeah, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get on into this Queen of Hearts inspired Halloween makeup tutorial. All right, you guys, so to start this off, I went in with the lightest foundation that I had in my collection. This one is from CoverGirl, and I went in with this because I didn't want to use a white face paint all over my face because I still wanted to look somewhat alive, but I definitely wanted my face to be lighter than the rest of my skin. So as you guys can tell, this foundation's a lot lighter than my neck and chest. So I kind of look like half dead. Um, that good, like, in between. But yeah, I'm just blending that out with my Beauty Blender, and then I'm just going to go ahead and set that foundation with a translucent powder this one is from Revlon and um, you can totally see the side of my lace wig there um, just because I have it pulled back but it's actually a really nice wig I like it it's from AB hair if you guys are interested then I'm going on and I'm going to use this pink lipstick mine is just like in the stick form but you can use any lipstick and I'm just going to use this to make the heart I use like a really bright pinkish red you can use whatever color you want but this part was really important because if you don't get the heart right then you kind of have to take up all your makeup and start over so you definitely want to kind of like size it out and do like a little bit of a test run I did this twice actually just to make sure that I got it correct so I'm just drawing that heart and I'm starting right above my eyebrows and then going all the way down to beneath my lips Then I decided to just go back in and thicken up that line now that I had had the preliminary line down already just to make the heart a little bit thicker. Then I'm going in with this black liquid eyeliner and I'm filling in my brows. Crazy, right? Literally using a black liquid liner on your brows. But we obviously wanted this look to be a little extreme and fun for Halloween. So I'm just making my brows like super arched and filling them in as I normally would but just with a black liquid liner. Then I'm just taking this white jumbo pencil, I believe this is from NYX, and I'm just going to put this all over my eyelid and in the inner corner of my eye just to really whiten out that part because obviously the foundation already made it a lot lighter, but I really wanted it to kind of be stark white, so I went over with this, so I'm just doing that to both eyes. And then I did go in and line underneath my lash line there as well with the stark white just to make those kind of pop and really make my eyes pop. And then you could still kind of see my lips throughout the foundation so I just went over with this just to really white them out to make sure you couldn't really see the red. Then I just went ahead and popped on some mascara. Then I went in with this hot pink blush from NYX and I just put this right on the apples of my cheek like right in a little circle like a rag doll or something would do and then I did put it on my nose as well just to kind of add that extra pink because I feel like pink and Queen of Hearts just goes together. Then using that same liquid liner that I used for my brows, I'm just going in and drawing random hearts all over my face. This was like kind of difficult because I wanted them to look more sporadic and they kind of looked like uniform. You guys will see as I keep doing it. I didn't really love the way that it turned out. So you guys can do it as many as or as little as you want. Maybe just only do one if you want it to be more plain, but I ended up doing a lot kind of like all over my face. Um, it's really up to you. You can definitely customize this look to be however you want it to be.
Then I wanted to make a heart on my lip, so I'm just starting the upper part of the heart on my cupid's bow and upper area of my lips, and then I'm just going over it to make sure that it's like super black and then bringing it down to make the end part of the heart, and then I'm just filling it in so that it's all black. And then last but not least, I just popped on these lashes. These are from Salon Perfect, but really just any like dainty lashes. I didn't want to do something like too crazy, but I wanted them to be long and kind of wispy. So that's what I did here because I just didn't want them to take away from the look, but just add a little something to that whiteness on my eye. So yeah, that is the completed look. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. It was definitely something a little bit different for me. So if you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe down below and let me know any more Halloween tutorials that you want to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.